Let me tell you what kind of flipping idiot I am. That is what I'm focused on. Mm, I couldn't get into the flow. Don't know how many words I'm gonna get in tomorrow. Let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips. I'm a writer, reader, and bunny mama, and this is the vlog that will have a lot of things or not very much at all. I don't know. <laughs> this weekend is going to be a disaster. It's not gonna be a disaster. It's just gonna be really busy. I have, of course, put off cleaning basically all week because I've been busy. It's not like I've just been sitting around. I've been writing, I've been vlogging, I've been editing the vlogging, I've been doing all the things. But my family is arriving on Sunday, like afternoon. So Saturday is gonna be like clean all of the things. Who waited all week to clean things? Was it me? Was it you? Who knows? Guess who? Remember that? Am I dating myself? Today, I am going to be crossing the 40,000 word mark total, which I'm real excited about. It's gorgeous outside, so I'm gonna go for a walk first. It's 424, work is done for the day. So I'm gonna go do the walking, and then I think I'm gonna come back and try to write before I have to make dinner. I'm gonna wrap this up quick for tonight. I did hit 40,000 words, so I'm happy about that. I got 1,400 words, which is fine. Tonight felt weird. It felt very... Mm, I couldn't get into the flow. It was difficult. I've been here for like two hours at this point, almost. It's almost 10 o'clock. Uh, I need to go to bed, but yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't like feeling this section, which is weird because I've been looking forward to writing this particular scene, but didn't turn out quite as good as I thought maybe it could, would, I don't know. It's fine. It's done for tonight. So I'll see you back here for Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, it's Friday, November 20th, and I should be excited today because this is my last day of work work for the next week because I took all of next week off because family in town. I just have so much to do. I'm like not even excited about it. But yeah, I've got a lot I need to do this weekend for cleaning and getting ready and shopping. I've got to go grocery shopping for like regular food, but then I also have to go shopping for Thanksgiving food. I've just got a lot going on. My entire life focus at the moment is focused on Christmas. I do like Christmas, but also I'm not focused on it because of Christmas. I have taken off the entire 10 days surrounding Christmas and New Year's. So you have Christmas, which is on a Friday, and then you have the weekend, and then you have four days until New Year's, then you have New Year's Day, and then you have another weekend. So it's 10 days. I took off those four little days in between that are actual like work days because of course we're already closed on Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Anyway, I have a 10 day stretch at the end of December into January where I don't have to work. I am not going anywhere. Nobody is coming here. I can do whatever I want by myself for 10 days. That is what I'm focused on. Like I want to finish NaNo, finish the book. Yes. The last time I had like a 10 day stretch like that, that I took the days off work was two years ago. Two years. I haven't had that kind of a break from work in two years. Now I did take a lot of time off last year, but we were moving. So yeah, I wasn't going to work, but I was moving, which is, in, you know, incredibly stressful. I wasn't just like hanging out or like traveling somewhere fun. We were packing up our entire life and taking it halfway across the country. So I don't really count those as like relaxing days off of work. I am so ready. I'm so ready for a really long stretch of days where I don't have to work. I have decided I'm going to make a countdown calendar for myself because I just... I just want it to be here. And I think it'll be fun to cross off the days as they go, hopefully. I'm gonna make this little countdown calendar for myself, countdown, it's counting down to Christmas because I am working like on Christmas Eve and then Christmas day will be like my first day off officially. So it is a countdown to Christmas technically, I guess, but really in my mind, I'm like, I don't care what that day is. It's the beginning of this 10 day stretch that I have off, so yeah. Come join me while I make this countdown calendar. I'm trying to make this like super perfect and it's not even close, gosh darn it. It's fine. It's the final countdown to my 10 day break. I really can't wait for it. 
something something break okay It's a little after 8.30. I had my writing group tonight. It was awesome. I got a lot of words in, all 1,700 words. I am in the middle of a scene. I'm not gonna keep going tonight. I'm just gonna cut it off there and be done. So I'm probably gonna head to bed early tonight because I need to get up early tomorrow to start the cleaning extravaganza. Don't know how many words I'm gonna get in tomorrow, but we'll see. I'll check in with you tomorrow. It's Saturday. I'm stressed because I've got a crap ton of stuff to do. Family comes into town tomorrow afternoon so I'm just like I got to do a lot of stuff today grocery store shopping cleaning blah, blah, and a lot of things I still gotta write let me tell you what kind of flipping idiot I am okay here's what I did last night last night I was getting ready for bed and I had finished the invisible life of Addie LaRue which you would have seen in the last vlog it destroyed me in the best way possible <sighs> so good and I was like listen you're stressed out you just read this really intense book you need to read a really great romance just enjoy, be warm and comforted by it. I was like, which book should I pick? Which book should I pick? What do you think I picked? Would I go for an old favorite that I've read multiple times? No. Would I go for a new book that I haven't read that looks light and fluffy and comforting? No. I picked a romantic suspense novel. Why? I don't read romance suspense. <laughs> Just so dumb. I started reading it. It's really good. It takes place in Antarctica. I want to go to Antarctica someday, so I was like, I guess I'll read this. So, as you would expect from a romantic suspense novel, it is quite suspenseful. So I read like, I don't even know how far into it I am. I'm on chapter 12. I just, <laughs> do you think I need the added like stress and anxiety of a suspenseful book at this point? No, I do not. Why, why did I start reading this? I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. So all I'm thinking about now is the stupid book, which I really can't sit down and read because I've got too much to do today. Make good choices. Let this be a lesson to you. I gotta go make a grocery list. <laughs> I'll check in with you later. Little update. What time is it? It's 3.15 in the afternoon. I have gone to two grocery stores. I've spent <laughs> like my entire month's grocery budget on one week. <laughs> which is fine, it's not a big deal, but also like, uh, I've cleaned up the living room, I've cleaned up the bunny pens, I need to clean the kitchen. I hate cleaning the kitchen, it's my least favorite thing to do on the entire world. Well, that's a lie, but it's not fun. So I need to do that before five. I've got almost two hours. At five, I'm gonna head out, I need to hit Target, and then I have to pick up my husband at six. I'm so tired. All I want to do is go read that freaking book. I guess I'm going to do some writing this evening because it's definitely not happening before I have to leave the house again. Okay, I'm going to go because I have no real update to give you aside from the fact that yes, I have been doing cleaning. Good for me. Okay, bye. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I think I'm going to actually do some writing now. It is four o'clock. I did do a little bit of cleaning up in the kitchen. I have a load of dishes going in the dishwasher. There's still a lot I need to clean up in there, but I think what I'm going to do is write for maybe an hour-ish, probably a little less. I'm going to go ahead and write. I don't know how far I'm going to get, but we'll see. I'm going to write out here in the living room because this feels comfortable. <laughs> So I literally ended last night in the middle of a sentence. Like I didn't even finish the sentence. So let's get to writing. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Or no wait, it's Sunday. Oh my gosh. This week has been just, or this weekend has been a lot. I've been doing a crap ton of other stuff to prep for the family that's going to be in town in a couple hours. So I'm, I'm done cleaning. I've cleaned all the things. I've organized all the stuff, I think. <laughs> I only updated a tiny bit yesterday. So let me tell you how I finished out the day. I did get about 500 words in the afternoon while I was sitting on the couch in the living room, which was great. I tried to come back here to my office around... I don't remember what time it was. It was like 8.30 and I had been cleaning like all day and I was just so tired and I managed to get out a couple hundred more words and I ended the day around like 850-ish words, something like that. And I just quit. I was like, I, I'm just done. I didn't get very many words yesterday, which is fine. According to the nano site, I need less than a thousand words a day at this point to win. I forget what my word count is total. Hold on, let me look. I'm at 43,329 words and it is the 22nd. So we still have eight days 
to write so I, you know I'm not worried about it I need to eat something it's 1230 now I haven't written at all I was doing like last minute cleaning vacuuming and all that kind of stuff I need to write I want to try to write I really wanted to try to edit some of this vlog together before people arrived I don't know if that's gonna happen I want to write first I think that's more important and I will have time tomorrow like I don't think we're doing if, if we're doing something tomorrow I don't know what it is but I should have time tomorrow to do the vlog editing but it would be handy if I could get some done today but I'd rather do the writing first okay so <laughs> what I need to do right now is eat some lunch because I'm really hungry and start writing so I will go ahead and do those two things in that order <laughs> Okay, it's a little after one and I've gotten 721 words in this little sprint I've been doing. I've been writing for maybe 30 minutes-ish, so I think that's pretty good. I'm in the middle of the scene and I really like how it's turning out. I really like it. So I really want to keep going with it, but I also have like a few last minute kind of little things to do so I'm gonna go do those I might come back here and keep working I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to update any more later today I will check in with you at some point between today and tomorrow ah, okay <laughs> I gotta go I hate filming with other people in the house <laughs> so sorry that I'm whispering but you know what I'm a little self-conscious still about this so it is Monday, no, it's Sunday night. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what day of the week it is. It's Sunday night and I crossed 44,000 words. So we are doing good. The only writing I got in today was that clip you saw earlier where I got about 720 words, which was fine. Anyway, the family has arrived and I need to wrap up this vlog because this is the last day for it. So anyway, I do apologize if this one was a little bit short. The last several days have just been kind of nutty, so it is what it is, and I'm honestly, the one for Friday is probably going to be short too. <laughs> if you did like this vlog though, please give it a thumbs up and let me know below how you're doing. We're so close to being done. We're so close to being done. So I hope you're doing well. Keep writing, even if you're really far behind or you're not sure you're going to make the goal. Keep writing because words are words and progress is progress, and that's awesome. So anyway, I hope you're doing well and I will see you again on Friday and happy Thanksgiving to those of us in the U.S. I hope you have a great time if you're celebrating with friends and family or not since it's a pandemic. I hope you have something to be thankful for this week. Anyway, I gotta go and edit this so I will see you on Friday. Bye! emergency. An emergency named Tilly. Tilly gets poop butt, which means she gets poop caked on her butt, which is fantastic. She's so floofy, her fur just, there's no way to not get this. Now, she also doesn't help herself. She won't lift her tail when she's peeing and stuff. I'm gonna try to get this chunk off though. These are blunt scissors, like kid scissors, and her fur is so friggin' thick. Ugh. You have to be really careful. She hates this and she can start thrashing at any moment. So I'm just taking little chunks. There we go. Is that all? Do you need a brush in too? Hold on. Also shedding again. So if I have her out here, might as well try to get some of that fur off, right? She looks cozy. I'm sure she looks cozy, but she's she was thumping at me when I was trying to get her. So let me put her down. Okay, where's the brush? Maybe you'll escape if I can't find the brush. Hold on. Hold on, okay? Oh, you stay over there. Tilly, where's the brush? Tilly. Oh, here it is. No. Oh, I know where she's trying to go. Get over there. A uh, Tilly. Stay right? Nope, right there. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. I can tell just from her body language that she is agitated and scared, which isn't great, but also need to get her poop butt taken care of. And it's good to brush them because they don't have gag reflexes like cats do. So if they swallow a lot of this fur, they can't cough it up in a hairball. And so then it has to go through their system 
and if it gets clogged up in there then that's a big problem which can actually it can kill them so you do have to brush them periodically especially when they're shedding and I noticed today she looked like she was starting to shed again even though she didn't finish the previous shed I don't think they do not like being taken out of their regular environment but if I were gonna try to do this in their pen she would just run and I would never be able to get any you know significant amount of fur off of her I know I'm sorry there you go yeah she's being really good right now a lot of times she'll try to dig at the blanket or run away I think she's still tired like they're still kind of waking up for the evening so she's probably still half asleep <laughs> which is why she's being so good right now I am trying to be careful and watch her body language though like she's inching her head around this way toward my knee and she is the one bunny who will bite without too much prompting so I do watch her pretty carefully to make sure that oh there she goes make sure she's not gonna try to bite me she's gotten a lot better there she goes she's trying to escape man her fur is so long and so thick it just gets everything gets caught in it even the fur on her little face i could sit here and brush her for 20 minutes and still be getting handfuls off she's doing pretty good right now she will get to a point <laughs> eventually where she is just like not having it anymore she's not there yet she's being a good girl She's been a very good girl. All right, Tilly, what do you think? Are we done? Are we all done? No, don't do that. Let's go back. You want to see Nibbly Wibbly? Go find Nibs. Come on. I know. It's okay. Good girl. Okay. Now I'm covered in bunny fur. You probably can't see it, but it is all over my shirt. Ooh, my battery's not going to last very long. Okay. I need a haircut. <laughs> Ugh, it's getting too long. How short should I cut it? Like this? Oh, let's do this. That'll be the new fashion.